is called as such, for it cannot be changed. It feels pretty ordinary here. I was expecting some kind of sense of impending doom. Could it be that because you're here with me, I'm feeling more at ease? <laughs> huh. It looks like the door in the front is closed and only the door behind us is open. That mechanism must be for opening the next door, right? Right. Well, we're on the same page at least. I'll go try to operate it. Just as I expected. <laughs> ah, so it is. Hmm. A true adventurer can't just barge on forward. It's also important to make sure there is a way back. That's what my dads always say. Let me try the mechanism one more time. Hmm. It seems to be jammed. I think so. At least, it seems that way for now. But don't let it get you down. This kind of thing happens all the time. We just have to believe that there's always a way out. What the? What's going on? Hey, did you hear that? Sounded like it came from the door up ahead of us. Could there be other people in the ruin too? Let's go check it out. Another adventurer by the looks of it. Hello, fellow adventurer. We, like you, are here to... Bennett? Uh, Royce? It's you! Oh, no. Oh, please. Oh, no, no, no. I'm so happy to see you again. How are you doing? I've been thinking about you and the other guild members a lot recently. This is the worst. <sighs> Why did I have to run into you? Oh. It took me forever to get this door open. Finally, I was about to advance further in, and all of a sudden, it closes again. Uh, I guess that's because I activated the mechanism just now. I knew it. I knew it! Of course it was you. I knew it as soon as I saw you. As long as you are around, no adventure can ever be a smooth ride. Who are you? And what the heck were you thinking, teaming up with Bennett? Hey, don't fight, don't fight! Let me introduce Royce, a former member of Benny's adventure team and an old friend of mine. Friend? I didn't even tell you I was leaving the team and you still think of me as... your friend? <sighs> Never mind, I'm a little on edge because what just happened... I'm sorry. Well, it was my fault. <laughs> you think? I left because at that time, I really couldn't stand it a second longer. My adventures always used to go off without a hitch. But after joining your adventure team, I was tripping and falling one day, getting struck by lightning the next. Oh, and the number of times ruins would cave in on us? I just couldn't dismiss it as mere coincidence anymore. The last straw was when my left leg got hit by that random explosion that came out of nowhere. After that, I couldn't stand it anymore, both literally and figuratively. <sighs> so I left and went back to being an independent adventurer. Only afterward did I start hearing the horror stories about Benny's adventure team. I didn't think about it much at the time. I was just focused on my own survival, but there was no other way. All right, all right. It's all in the past now. Talking about all the bad things that happen will only make you more upset, right? Um... 
Royce, I still want to say sorry for all the trouble I caused you. Oh. <sighs> no need to apologize to me. I have made my fair share of mistakes, too. Oh, yeah. There's one more thing I need to tell you. The door we came through on the way in also got closed, and I don't think we can get it open again. So we're probably trapped here now. What a pain in the butt. <laughs> <sighs> Bennett! <laughs> Everything always goes wrong when I'm with you. Oh, well, there's nothing I can do. Sorry. <sighs> what am I going to do? I've used up all my supplies already. This is it. This is how I go, isn't it? Here, today, and all because of Bennett. <laughs> well, I don't know what I could do to apologize. If you don't mind, maybe we can share some of our supplies with you. Uh, but of course, I'll have to check with my partner first. So, what do you think? But it was because of my bad luck, though. So, you mean, as the unlucky one, I should think of myself more? <laughs> you do have a point there. It's just, I've been used to thinking this way for a long time. Hearing you say that, though, I feel like maybe I do need to take better care of myself. Uh, I'm sorry, Royce. We'll have to keep the rest of our supplies for ourselves. But let's try to find a way out together. <laughs> Nobody cares about your supplies. Knowing you, they're probably cursed anyway. And as for finding the exit together, count me out. With Bennett around, I'm sure any exit I find will only be blocked. Well, then take care, Royce. You... <sighs> you take care too, Bennett. Lock. I've checked every single nook and cranny in this place. Oh, still not a clue. Is there really no way out of here apart from that broken mechanism? Well, guess our only hope now is to wait for help. The Adventurers Guild might notice our disappearance and send someone. Then again, that depends on how lucky we are. If the rescue team takes too long to find us, we might already be. Oh, I hate feeling helpless, sitting here waiting for the end to come. Oh, yeah, I am being a bit too pessimistic. No, come on, this isn't like me. Okay, let's double check our supplies. Our priority right now is figuring out how long we can hold out. Take out the dish I packed. Ah. Uh, it's probably a little late for this, but it looks kind of strange. Hmm. Is there really something wrong with my cooking? Ah, uh, this is bad. This is all we've got in terms of supplies. I should have thought this through more. Hey, wait a minute. Ugh. Maybe we can find another use for it. Long story short. I once got injured when I was in this severely dangerous place and I got knocked unconscious. I really thought that was going to be the end of me. But turns out that's not how it went. Instead, according to Guildmaster Cyrus who rescued me, after I lost consciousness, it was as if my bad luck just stopped affecting me. He took me back to Mondstadt without encountering any trouble at all along the way. And another time, I got knocked out in a field during a thunderstorm, but then I went the whole night without getting struck by lightning. I wonder if my bad luck is related to whether I'm awake or not. Or in other words, it might be my consciousness that brings me bad luck. Not really a sacrifice. I was just thinking, maybe if I eat this strange dish, it's possible that I'll lose consciousness, right? Once my bad luck is gone, surely help will be here soon. <laughs> it's okay. 
It's better than dragging you and Royce down with me. You made a great point earlier when you said that I should take better care of myself. But right now, this is a life or death situation. Obi can understand. <sighs> Here goes. <laughs> <laughs>